Good morning, dear viewers. This video is going to be quick. There are countless videos on the popular 16x2 LCD display. So why am I creating another one? Currently, I am experimenting with the PIC 18F 4525 in C language. Example C code requires knowing how these LCD screens work. So I am not an expert, but rather a student, and I am creating this video for myself. But I hope it helps, and thank you for watching. Again, my effort is to configure the 16x2 liquid crystal display screen. It is used to display text and numbers. You can also create your own display characters too. Personally, I am using the more popular Hitachi HD44780 type. Its driver converts binary data into text to be displayed. The screen has two lines of 16 characters each. Also, the device has eight data lines for programming. But there is the option to program the LCD with only four data lines. This can save use of I.O. pins on your microcontroller. The microcontroller can communicate with the LCD in two modes, instruction mode and data mode. First, in instruction mode, this sets up things like the cursor position and clearing the screen. Second, in data mode, the LCD takes binary input data, converts it to ASCII characters, and displays them on screen. The LCD has its own non-volatile memory containing pixel information about ASCII characters. Rather, the addresses of pixel maps correspond to ASCII characters. In specific, this type of memory is called CGRAM. This stands for Character Generator Random Access Memory, and also contained is the DDRAM, which stands for Display Data Random Access Memory. DDRAM holds the letters that get shown on the LCD. Each ASCII character is assigned an octet, or rather one byte of information. This is further divided into half bytes, or nibbles. This is important when considering the LCD can be used with eight data lines, or four. Using eight data lines, one byte can be sent at a time. Using four data lines, first the high nibble is sent, then the low nibble. Now I would just like to finish off by briefly explaining the different pins. VSS is ground, VDD is 5 volts, although I looked at the data sheet and I think something around 2.5 volts it can be used with. Okay, so the variable voltage pin or the VEE pin, or the brightness pin, uh, can be connected, and this controls the contrast or brightness of the LCD. Next, there is the register select pin, or RS pin. It distinguishes instructions which control characters or display data. The RS pin goes to logic zero for instructions, and logic 1 for data to be displayed. The RW pin is the read-write pin. Typically in most applications you'll want to write to the LCD. A logic 0 tells the driver we want to write to the LCD. Therefore RW should be connected to ground if you want to write to it. Next the enable pin, or E pin, goes high, then low, with no time in between. 
This tells the driver inside that new data has been sent to the LCD to be dealt with. When high, it reads data applied to data pins. When low, it executes commands or displays data.